Homes are one of the most expensive things you can buy in life. For many of us, it is the place for building lifelong memories and comfortable living. But for some, it is a status symbol to show to the world. And today we are going to look at the biggest homes in the world that take luxury living to unimaginable levels. Before we look at our list there are some ground rules we used while making the list. The house should be privately owned. The house should not be used as a hotel or resort. The house should not be owned by a monarchical head, government representative, or a dictator. So, sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea and enjoy our list of the top 10 biggest homes in the world. Number 10 on our list is Xanadu 2.0 with 66,000 square feet of space. The house is located in Medina, Washington, with a total assessed value of 130 to 150 million US dollars. The house is owned by Bill Gates, the co-founder, ex-chairman, ex-CEO, ex-president, and ex-chief software architect of Microsoft while also being the largest individual shareholder until May 2014. His total net worth is 128 billion US dollars as of July 2021. He also worked as a software developer, investor, author, philanthropist, and YouTuber in his life. The house features seven bedrooms only, six kitchens, 24 bathrooms, an estate-wide server system, a 60-feet swimming pool with an underwater music system, a 2,500-square-feet gym, and a 1,000-square-feet dining room, a 20-car garage, reception hall for 150 people, a trampoline room, a spa, a sauna, steam room, a rare manuscript written by Leonardo da Vinci worth around $8 million, a 2,100-square-feet library and a movie theater. He purchased the lot for $2 million in 1988. The house took seven years and $63 million US dollars to construct along with 300 construction workers. It was designed by architects James Cutler, Peter Bolin and interior designer Thierry Despont. The house is built in the Pacific Lodge style, influenced by the materials that are found in the Pacific Northwest region. Almost 500-year-old Douglas fir trees were used. It is reported that half a million wood logs were used in its construction. Number 9 on our list is Linwood Hall with 70,000 square feet of space. Linwood Hall is a 110-room neoclassical revival vacant mansion in Elkins Park, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Built from Indiana limestone, the T-shaped Linwood Hall measures 325 feet long by 215 feet deep. The house may be the biggest haunted house in the world considering the tragedies the owners of the house faced. Initially, the house was built on a 480-acre plot but a large portion of land was sold in the 1940s making it only 33-acre real estate as of now. The house has one of the most interesting histories on our list. It was designed by architect Horace Trumbauer for industrialist Peter A. B. Widener and built between 1897 and 1900. The house approximately took 8 million US dollars to construct. Widener was founding partner in the Philadelphia Traction Company, which electrified the city's trolley lines, and expanded into other major cities in the United States. He and his business partner, William L. Elkins, invested with businessmen such as Charles Tyson Yerkes, the streetcar czar of Chicago. Widener used the great wealth accumulated from public transportation to become a founding organizer of U.S. Steel and the American Tobacco Company, as well as to acquire substantial holdings in Standard Oil. He is considered to have been among the 100 wealthiest Americans, having left an enormous fortune. Peter A. B. Widener was an investor of RMS Titanic by investing in International Mercantile Marine, owner of the White Star Line. George Dunton Widener and Harry Elkins Widener, the eldest son and grandson of Peter A. B. Widener respectively, both died in the 1912 sinking of the Titanic. George and his wife, Eleanor Elkins Widener, had traveled to Europe with their son Harry in 1912, booking a return passage on the ship's maiden voyage. George, his valet, Edwin Keeping, and Harry died in the sinking, while Eleanor and her maid survived by boarding a lifeboat with other first-class women. The 2,550-square-feet library in Linwood was turned into a ballroom after the sinking of the Titanic. Peter A. B. Widener died in his bed at Linwood Hall just three years later by old age and sorrow of losing his son and grandson. The house was inherited by Joseph E. Widener, the younger son of Peter Widener in 1915 after his death. Joseph passed away in 1943, but neither of his children wanted to take on the responsibility of Linwood Hall. The old property was left abandoned and quickly fell into disrepair. The house is currently owned by the First Korean Church of New York, founded by Richard Yoon but is still abandoned and needs massive renovation. In 1940, Joseph donated more than 2,000 pieces, including sculptures, paintings, and porcelains, to the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. The collection was valued at $19 million in 1940. The house has 55 bedrooms, the 110-room mansion had a large art gallery, 
a 2,550 square feet ballroom large enough for 1,000 guests, a swimming pool, wine cellars, a farm, carpentry and upholstery studios, and an electrical power plant. The house is estimated to be worth 16.5 million US dollars as of 2021 and renovation of houses estimated to cost more than 50 million US dollars. Number 8 on our list is Chateau Pensmore with 72,000 square feet of space. Pensmore is one of the largest homes in the United States located in the Ozark Mountains near Highlandville, Missouri. The home is built on a 600 acre and is valued at around 10 million US dollars. The house is owned by Stephen T. Huff, an American multimillionaire astrophysicist, inventor, and philanthropist. After his retirement from the United States Army and Central Intelligence Agency, he founded his defense intelligence related companies and sold the companies for building the Pensmore. The house is built to stand for 2,000 years and is certainly different from your typical influencer's house. The house has five floors, several elevators, 13 bedrooms including five suites with kitchens, 14 baths. The house is made to resemble an old English mansion. The house has a music room, telescope observatory, several reading rooms, hobby room, and a museum. The main kitchen measures 40 by 60 feet. That's 2,400 square feet almost as big as a median U.S. home. The roof is covered with 4,000 square feet of solar panels above 9 tons of batteries. The exterior walls, 12 inches thick, use a foam substance for further insulation. Pipes within the walls carry hot water throughout the house in cold weather and cold water to cool the house in summer. In 2008, the Stephen T. Huff family LLC applied for a construction permit to begin construction of the Pensmore Mansion which is designed to showcase sustainable construction techniques on a large scale, with it being designed to be earthquake-resistant, bulletproof, blast-proof, capable of withstanding an EF5 tornado, bug-resistant, and fire-resistant. The mansion's construction halted in 2014 after allegations arose that a cement company with outfits in Kansas City and Springfield had shorted the amount of helix reinforcement fiber that was supposed to go into the building's blast-resistant, weather-defying walls. Huff at one point demanded the structure be torn down and rebuilt. A lawsuit was filed for $63 million US dollars and settled in 2017. Number 7 on our list is La Reverie Palm Beach with 84,626 square feet of space. La Reverie, the French-style mega-mansion at 1415 South Ocean Boulevard, Palm Beach, Florida. It has a 4.35-acre plot with an estimated price of $105 million. The house is owned by founder and non-executive chairman of Schoenfeld Strategic Advisors Stephen Schoenfeld and his wife, Brooke Kaplan Schoenfeld. They brought the house from Matrix Essentials co-founder Seidel Miller, at a record-breaking price of $105 million in 2019. Stephen Schoenfeld was the 18th highest earning hedge fund manager in 2018 according to Forbes, with earnings of $130 million. La Reverie has three stories, 10 bedrooms, 34,775 square feet of air-conditioned living space. The house faces about 350 feet of oceanfront. The house has pools, libraries, a bowling facility, and a game room. Miller brought the property in 1995 by assembling three ocean properties with a total of $26 million US dollars. The house began construction in 1997 and finished construction in 2001. Architect Jeffrey Smith of Smith Architectural Group in Palm Beach designed the house, which has a crisp silhouette, an exterior clad in stone, and a series of Roman arches that define ground floor window and loggia openings. Number 6 on our list is modern Versailles with 85,000 square feet of space. The 90,000 square home is still under construction and sits near a man-made lake and is raised to sit on top of a man-made hill. The 10-acre lakefront property, the house itself sits on one acre, can be found on Kirkstone Lane, Orange County, Florida, USA. The home and its owners are shown on the 2012 documentary film The Queen of Versailles as well as an episode of CNBC's Secret Lives of the Super Rich. The house is valued at over $100 million, although it is assessed at just under $4 million according to the $65,000 annual tax bill paid. The house is owned by David Allen Siegel founder of Westgate Resorts. Siegel has an estimated net worth of $500 million US dollars. His other businesses include real estate, construction, hotel, and apartment management, travel services, insurance, transportation, and retail. The residence will include a 1,000 square feet master bedroom and over 30 bathrooms, 15 bedrooms, 11 kitchens, and 6 swimming pools with 3 indoor pools and 3 outdoor pools, a video arcade, a ballroom with a 500 to a 1,000 person capacity, a two-story movie theater inspired by the Paris Opera House, a 20,000 bottle wine cellar, an exotic fish aquarium, two tennis courts, two-lane commercial-grade bowling alley, a formal outdoor garden yoga studio, secondary movie theater and an elevator in the master bedroom closet. 
Construction began in 2004 but work stalled in 2009 with 60% completed as Siegel's company due to the 2008 financial crisis. The house was subsequently listed for sale at $65 million in the market till 2012. However, with Westgate Resort's improved finances as of 2013, Siegel now owns the property outright and construction has resumed. Number 5 on our list is Wittenhurst with 90,000 square feet of space. Wittenhurst is a historically preserved Georgian revival mansion in Highgate, North London. After a complete renovation, the house will be worth over £300 million. According to the Times, the house is owned by Andrei Grigorievich Guryev, a Russian billionaire and the former head of Foss Agro, one of the four largest producers of phosphate-based fertilizers in the world. Andrei purchased the house for €50 million Euros in 2008 from Marcus Cooper. Through the offshore company Saffron Holdings, the mansion has 65 rooms spread across three floors, including 25 bedrooms with opulent classical style, 12 bathrooms. It has a 1,400 square feet walnut paneled ballroom measuring 70 feet long and 20 feet wide. It also features drawing room, study room, entrance hall, dining room, billiard room, terraced gardens, tennis courts, orangery and the gallery hallway. In late 2013, the local council approved plans for a basement beneath the gatehouse which will connect the building to both the main house and the orangery. Upon construction, the house will have two basement floors containing a gym, a 25-car garage with car lift, boiler room, sauna, security room, 70 feet long pool, bars, staff quarters, massage room, hair salon, game room, jacuzzi, two-tier cinema, and guest suites. The original estate, dating from 1774, was known as Parkfield, situated at the junction of Highgate West Hill and the Grove. The current house, built between 1913 and 1920, was designed by architect George Hubbard for soap magnate Sir Arthur Crossfield on an 11-acre site. Number 4 on our list is the one with 105,000 square feet of space. Located on 777 Sarbonne Road in Bel Air, California the one is a 105,000 square feet mansion situated on a 3-acre plot. The house was initially listed for sale at 500 million US dollars but the price is reduced to 340 million US dollars. If the property is sold at 340 million asking price it will be the most expensive residential sale in the United States beating the 238 million dollars penthouse purchased by Citadel founder Ken Griffin in Manhattan. The house is currently owned by Niall Niami, a film producer turned real estate developer. Niall Niami is known for creating ultra expensive mega mansions in Los Angeles. In 2020 he tried to sell Opus for $100 million but finally sold it for $38.3 million to Joseph Inglenoff, one of Niami's lenders for the project. Inglenoff took control of the property, rebranded it, and sold it for $47 million later that year. In 2019, Niami tried to sell a West Hollywood home for $55 million but couldn't find a buyer and had to put the property into bankruptcy. Niami has borrowed $82.5 million from Hankey Capital in 2018 to build the one mansion. Over the last three years, that debt has increased to more than $110 million, and Hanke can force to sell the mansion at a much lower price than what Niami is asking. However, Niami has sold expensive houses in the past so he may pull off the sale. In 2017, Niami has also sold a 15,000 square feet Beverly Hills mansion to Floyd Mayweather for $26 million US dollars. In 2021, Niami has sold a 24,000 square feet mansion at 10701 Bellagio Road to Network Capital CEO Tri Win for 36 million US dollars. The property has 5,000 square feet master bedroom with a total of 20 bedrooms, 42 bathrooms, several kitchens, a nightclub, 50 car garage, theater, bowling alley, 5 swimming pools, 100,000 square feet sky deck, office, cigar lounge, a lawsuit seating space, a lawsuit restroom. 10,000 bottle wine cellar, outdoor barbecue, virtual shark tanks, bars, beauty salon, tennis court, golf simulator, staff quarter, a candy room, gym, a 4,000 square feet guest house and a running track across parameter of house. The house is filled with several custom-made artworks also to increase the price. Nile Nami started the construction in December 2012 and finished it in 2021. Number 3 on our list is Safra Mansion with 117,000 square feet of space. Located in the Morumbi suburb of Sao Paulo the property is situated on a 5.7 acre lot with a build-up area of 2.72 acres. Safra is owned by Vicky Safra, who inherited it from Joseph Safra after his death in 2020. Joseph Safra was a Swiss-based Lebanese-Brazilian banker and billionaire businessman owner of the Brazilian banking and investment empire, Safra Group. 
He was the chairman of all Safra companies, including Safra National Bank of New York and Banco Safra. According to Forbes, at the time of his death, his estimated net worth is at 22.8 billion US dollars, making him the 52nd richest person in the world and richest person in Brazil. He was also the richest banker in the world at the time of his death. The property is one of the safest houses in the world is divided into five floors and 150 rooms, many of which are armored resistant to various types of weapons, including nuclear weapons. The property has its own power generator, has two swimming pools, one indoors and another outdoors. It has a helipad capable of receiving large aircraft. The house was designed by French architect Alain Reynaud, decorated by Alberto Pinto, has a landscape designed by Roberto Borla Marx, and lighting designed by Brazilian architect Esther Stiller. Number 2 on our list is Biltmore Estate with 175,000 square feet of space. Biltmore Estate is a historic house museum in Asheville, North Carolina, situated on 8,000 acres of land. It is the largest privately owned house in the United States with 178,926 square feet of floor space and 135,280 square feet of living area. Initially, I don't want to include the house in our list because it is used as a museum and not as a house, and also you can stay at the Biltmore Estates Village Hill, Inn, or Cottage making the estate a resort. But the house looks beautiful and it's considered the biggest house in the USA so I decided to include it anyway. The original acreage of Biltmore was approximately 125,000 acres and included property later sold to the federal government to create Pisgah National Forest. The house value is assessed at 37 million US dollars and the total estate value is assessed at 157.8 million US dollars. The estate employs 2,400 people and nearly 1.4 million people visit the estate yearly. The house is built for George Washington Vanderbilt II who owns steamboats, railroads, and various business enterprises. The house is currently owned by the family of William Amherst Vanderbilt Cecil, the younger grandson of George Washington Vanderbilt II through the Biltmore Company, an American firm that owns and operates Biltmore Estate in Asheville, North Carolina. Biltmore has 250 rooms in the house, including 35 bedrooms, 43 bathrooms, 65 fireplaces, 3 kitchens, Otis elevators, organ gallery, music room, tapestry gallery, a two-story library contains over 10,000 volumes in eight languages, portrait gallery, breakfast room, 21 servants' rooms, billiard room, smoking room, seating room, a gun room showcasing George Vanderbilt's gun collection and marbled entrance hall. The 3,024 square feet banquet hall is the largest room in the house, measuring 42 by 72 feet with a 70 feet high barrel vaulted ceiling. The house basement includes a 70,000 gallon heated swimming pool with underwater lighting, a bowling alley, main kitchen, pastry kitchen, and a rotisserie kitchen. Biltmore House was designed by architect Richard Morris Hunt. Construction of the house began in 1889 and finished in 1895. A woodworking factory and brick kiln, which produced 32,000 bricks a day, were built on site. A three-mile railroad was constructed also to bring materials to the building site. Construction on the main house required the labor of about 1,000 workers and 60 stonemasons. The house approximately took 6 million US dollars to construct. The house also has 75 acres of formal and informal gardens designed by renowned American landscape architect, Frederick Law Olmsted who designed famous parks like Central Park and Prospect Park in New York City. Number one on our list is Antilia with 400,000 square feet of space. Located on Altamount Road, Kumbala Hill, Mumbai, one of the richest neighborhoods in the world with an average property price of 1,074 US dollars per square foot. The home was built on a 1.2-acre lot which was brought by Antilia Commercial Private Limited in 2002 for 3 million US dollars. The estimated land value of the lot is now 51 million US dollars. The home is 173 meters tall, has 27 floors, and is valued at 2.2 billion dollars. The house is currently owned by Mukesh Dhirubhai Ambani, the chairman, managing director, and largest shareholder of Reliance Industries Limited India's most valuable company by market value. According to Forbes, he is the richest person in Asia with a net worth of 80.1 billion US dollars and the 10th richest person in the world, as of July 2021. If you are spending approximately 2 billion US dollars, you should expect every luxury available in the world, well Antilia is filled with every amenity you can imagine. The interior design uses the shapes of the lotus and the sun with different floor designs throughout the house. These two features are repeated throughout the building using crystals, marble, and mother of pearl. The building has three helipads. 
However, they are not operational as they need approval from the Aviation and Defense Ministries of India. The home has two floors for entertainment containing an exercise center, a well-being spa, terrace gardens, various pools, a jacuzzi, ballroom, guest suites, 50-seat theater room, yoga, and dance studio. The house has its own snow room that releases snowflakes from its wall. The house has rooms for 600 staff members including securities, cleaning, and cooking staff. The house has nine high-speed elevators and and six floors of a car garage that can contain up to 168 cars. The home construction began in 2006 and was completed in 2010 which is pretty fast for a project of this caliber. The house was designed by U.S. architecture firms Perkins and Will and Hirsch Bedner Associates, with the Indian firm Sterling Engineering Consultancy Services taking charge of structural engineering. The construction was completed by B. Billamoria and Company Limited. Construction costs for Antilia have been reported at a range of $1 billion to $2 billion. To put the cost in perspective, the Empire State Building took only 41 million US dollars to build which will be 673 million US dollars today meaning more than two Empire State Buildings can be constructed at the price of Antilia. So, that concludes our list of the top 10 biggest homes in the world. Subscribe and like the video if you want future content like this. If you have any feedback or suggestion please comment at the bottom. So, have a great day and we look forward to meeting you again.